Hi, welcome to Learning Made Easy. Today I'm looking at a great internet site that helps you summarise your articles. For example, you need to do a lot of research. So this will save you time so we could use a URL which is the internet site address or we can even upload a PDF and it will summarise that to key points or keywords. Let me show you what I mean. Before we start, let me just give you a quick interface. You can choose here how many sentences you actually want to summarise. You can paste text below or as I said here use an internet site URL or you can click here and upload a PDF from your computer. So let's first look at the settings option at the bottom here. First option is you can avoid questions that's in an article, exclamation marks and quotations. You might want to leave them out. Heat map will actually colour code sentences which it thinks is the most important. This is great for you scanning down your articles quickly and pulling out key points. Quick transitions where you can quickly fade slide effects. Also specify topic so you can colour code keywords and it brings up the colours. And remember, so if you use the settings option here it will remember all the settings next time you open it up. OK, I'm going to close that. So first all we need to do is look for something to summarise. So if I go to equation of time, great website, read this a number of times, there's some really interesting facts here. I want you to actually click on the URL, right click it and copy. Go back to summarise articles and now I'm going to paste that where it says URL. Now before I start summarising I need to choose how many sentences I actually want to summarise. So I'm going to break that down into, actually I'm going to put it up to nine sentences. Remember I can use the settings button here I can avoid exclamation marks quotations if I want. I'm also going to add heat map so then it should show me the most important sentences. Click close. Now we'll click the summarize button. And let's have a look. So if we look at the bottom here, compact reduction by 64%. How many characters are there as well? So it's given me the first sentence here, as you can see, which is red. It's saying it's quite an important sentence out of that article. Now, as you notice, I hover along, which is a really good option. It highlights words. So when I click on sun, it's highlighting all the words with sun in that article. And that's great if you're looking for key words and you need to find them quickly. So you could use a whole article and not actually compress it at all, summarize it, then use this option to look for certain words. So you can find your facts. OK, I'm just going to click settings again. I'm also going to click the option here, which is specify topic. Click that once, and then I can close it. This bar will come at the top, so now I can add keywords in there, so it will search for me. Show you what I mean. So let's click on Earth. Earth's gone in there. Uh, noon. Relative. And there we go. So now what I can do is actually try and find that information within that document. Now you see it's highlighted all those words of keywords. Really handy option when you look for certain information. So if you go to the bottom you can actually share your summary with Facebook and tweet it as well if you need to. Close that. You can rate the summary but you have to register if you need to. Click at the top there where it says register and you can do that. But I click rate summary to show you and it tells you you need to register. But I think it's quite a handy option, especially when you're doing stuff on the internet or even PDFs, articles and that you've got on your computer you can upload. So let me try that quickly. Click New Summary. This time I'm going to click on Upload File. It's on my desktop. I have a video data PDF there. Click to open it. And let's see if it will summarise it. Click the Summarise button. And there we go. It summarised it, reduction by 47%. And again, remember if you hover over, it will pull out those keywords as well for you. Click settings, and again you can add your heat map if you need to. If you do get stuck with these options, you can always hover over the question mark and it tells you exactly what it does as well. Hope that was a help. Learning made easy.